You probably had a few Sam Adams beers yesterday, one of the great brewers in America, of course. And maybe you saw their new television commercial talking about Sam Adams and patriotism. See if you notice something odd about this commercial. Watch. Why well, name a beer after Samuel Adams? Because Samuel Adams signed the Declaration of Independence. He believed there was a better way to live. All men are created equal. They are endowed with certain unalienable rights. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Smooth, flavorful, we bow to no kings. Samuel Adams, Boston Lager. And so did you figure it out? Could you figure out what was missing? missing? The removal of endowed by their creator. And to me, this is an insult to our founding fathers. Sam Adams, I can't imagine, would want anything removed, especially that. But here's what Sam Adams has to say about it. They say the Beer Institute Advertising Code says beer advertising and marketing materials should not include religion or religious themes. We agree with that and try to adhere to these guidelines. While we do understand your objection to the omission of the phrase by our creator in other circumstances, after all, they occur in the Declaration of Independence, which Samuel Adams signed and helped author. We believe it would be outside our industry guidelines to invoke those religious words in a beer commercial. So, okay, I love that the beer <laughs> Institute advertising code holds right. more weight than our Declaration of Independence. Right, and, and then we also have these guidelines. You can have women mud wrestling in bikinis. That's okay. <laughs> right. But don't say God. Are you complaining about that? that well, no, no. Okay. What I'm saying okay. there's a double right. standard about right. that. Yeah, so we can't use endowed by their creator. Right. Sam Adams, you know, saying like, these are the standards. You know, there's all sorts of strict guidelines and codes with where they can advertise on television at certain hours of the day in magazines. We can't have liquor advertising on television. All of these different things at certain times of the day. So I, it's amazing to me, though, that the Beer Institute advertising yeah. code holds more weight than does our Declaration I mean, of Independence. Is Bill Maher writing the codes? I mean, do, do atheists really drink beer anyway? Oh. I mean, what, what do atheists drink? I mean, I, I think a beer is a red blooded American oh, come beverage. On, everybody Are atheists going to really be offended if they say creator? I mean, ben, Benjamin Franklin said, I think, and if I, I get the quote incorrect, forgive me, but I love this quote that he says, uh, Beer is proof, beer beer and wine is proof that God loves us. That's right. <laughs> and God created beer. Yeah. So what, what are you talking One about? One of our founding yeah. fathers, exactly. So yeah, let us know what you think about that. Friends at foxnews.com, and you can find us on Twitter as well. You know, it's just, it's just one more thing that, that we're here talking about, just like taking the One Nation Under God out of the Pledge right. of Allegiance. It's just one more thing. Don't show your cross necklace while you're working or whatever. It's just one more thing. We'd love to hear from you.